All right, so here's number seven, number seven from this these SAT prep questions. And this is really a linear programming question where you're given certain parameters and you see phrases like at least, no more than, at least, again, and, you know, phrases like that. And what these problems really let you know is that, like, math is really about a language. Math is really a language, right? So what I did is I kind of just, like, I took the question that I was given and I broke it down into bullet points. So the first bullet point is that this person in this scenario needs to buy at least 100 shares of stock, right? At least 100 shares of stock. Also, stock X is $22 per share. Stock Y is $35 per share. Your budget is no more than $4,500. So you got $4,500 max to spend. You can't spend $4,600. You can't spend $4,501. That's your max, $4,500. And you must buy at least 20 shares of stock X and 15 shares of stock Y. And also within the problem, you're told to use the variable A to represent the number of shares of stock X. So you're not using X for X, stock X. You're not using Y for stock Y because you're also using B, the variable B, for the number of shares of stock Y. So then you basically just go through each of these bullet points and just create inequalities, not equations because you're creating inequalities because of the language that's used. At least... That's an inequality situation. No more than, that's an inequality situation. At least again, that's an inequality situation. So at least, what does at least mean? That means you could buy 100 shares or you could buy more than 100 shares, right? So mathematically, we break that down and we use that, we use the greater than or equal to symbol. Greater than or equal to symbol. So our first inequality is gonna be this. I wanna make sure you can see what I'm writing. A plus B is greater than or equal to 100 because the shares are A and B, right? Stock X and stock Y. The number of shares are X, number of shares are Y. That's A and B. So when you add them up, you need at least 100 shares of stock altogether, at least. So it could be 100, it could be 101, it could be 102, it could be 200, it could be 300, 400, whatever. But again, it's other parameters that's going to limit. You can't just say, well... You can't, you probably not going to have enough money to buy like 10,000, you know, shares because of the other situations going on in this problem. And then it says stock X is $22 per share and stock Y is $35 per share. So that combined with this one right here about the budget, the budget, John, is going to let you know what your next inequality is going to be. So the number of shares of stock X is A, the price of each one is 22 so 22 times A is going to give you the total cost of the shares of the shares of stock X. So that's going to be 22A. And then if you add that with 35B, because $35 is the cost of one share of stock Y, which is equal to B or the variable B. And your budget is no more than 4,500, no more than. So what does that mean? That means you can't go over $4,500. So mathematically, in our math language, what that means is it's got to be less than or equal to 4,500. Less than or equal to 4,500. So that's two of our parameters or what we call constraints when we're dealing with linear programming. This, this is an example of a linear programming question that you might see in an Algebra 2 course, right? So 22A plus 34, oh, I forgot my B, plus 35B is less than or equal to 4,500. Now, Another parameter is that you must buy at least 20 shares of X and at least 15 shares of Y. So those are going to be two separate inequalities. So at least 20 shares of X. So that means um, uh, A is going to be at least... You good, Kwame? All right. So... A, at least. At least means you could buy 20, you could buy 21, you could buy 22, you could buy 30, right? So that's going to be greater than or equal to 20. So when you see at least, that phrase, that means greater than or equal to. When you see no more than, that means less than or equal to, all right? So that's, that's something that you should just memorize, right? And then for B, which is the number of shares of stock Y, we got B is also greater than or equal to 15, all right? And this was a multiple choice question, so the correct answer was D. The correct answer should be D.
All right. So just remember, it's all about the language. When you read these questions, these types of questions seem kind of intimidating because they're real long. They got a lot of sentences in them. They got a lot of language and whatnot. But you just got to like just manipulate them. Just go one sentence at a time. Just one sentence at a time. When you see a question like this, just look for those key phrases. At least, no more than, at least again. All right. And just create your create your, your individual inequality statements. All right. I hope that helps.